Meow, meow. It's October 3, and today in Philippine history, the Sangli Revolt happened in 1603. Sangli or Mestizo de Sangli are archaic terms used in the Philippines to describe somebody of Chinese descent or Chinese Filipino descent. At this time, the governor general in the Philippines was Luis Perez das Marinas. His father was also a governor general, Gomez Perez das Marinas. Gomez died on a ship. He was killed by a handful of Chinese slaves. He forced to row the ship from Manila to the Molucas. The city of Desmarinas in Cavite was named after the father, Gomez Perez Desmarinas. So in May 1603, a ship carrying three mainland officials, judges given their insignias, and their entourage of 50 arrived in Manila. A fleet of Chinese junk ships also followed. The group wanted an audience with the governor general because they wanted to verify the existence of a mountain of gold and silver that somebody had reported to their emperor about. And since they made the discovery, perhaps we could share in the profits. While their documents were being translated, remember this was a time when they didn't speak each other's languages, the group had set up shop in Tondo and began administering over the Manila Sanglis. So the Spanish-led Audiencia had to order that they cease what they were doing. And by the time that this group left the Philippines, there was already a heightened distrust of the Sanglis. At this time, the Sanglis outnumbered the Spaniards in Manila. On October 3, 1603, the Sanglis mounted a revolt against Spain. Whether the events of May are connected to the events of October, we don't really know for sure, but a lot of history books always discuss this, you know, one after another. The Sanglis burned down houses in Binondo and the surrounding districts, and the skirmishes led to the death of about 500 Sanglis at this point. Overconfident of his strength, Governor General Luis Perez das Marinas pursued the rebels into their stronghold of Tondo. This was where he was killed and the Spanish forces were defeated. In the days that followed, the rebels dispersed to Batangas and Laguna and the Spaniards mounted counterattacks with the help of Filipinos and Japanese migrants. About 25,000 Sanglis were killed before the revolt was finally quelled. There were investigations that followed, both on the Chinese and the Spanish side. In the end, trade and migration continued. Oh,